Hey guys, what's up? This is Ugly Kid back with another video. And before this video gets started, please leave a comment down below. That'd be really awesome because I make a reading your comments video. So if you guys comment on this video or any other video, go into reading your comments video 100% guaranteed. Um, I'm definitely planning to do one in the next uh, week or so. So uh, go ahead and leave a comment. Also, a few things I do want to get into before I uh, really get into the video is I have a Twitter account and I have never... Uh, talked about it on this channel, but um, I just wanted to, uh, to know you'll get notifications if I upload, and I'll be talking about everything NFL. And if you want to talk to me, that's that's a good place to reach me. So if you want to um, follow my Twitter, that'll be the first link in the description. It is at uglykid1111 for once. Um, and then the other thing is. Uh, David Johnson was released today from the Cardinals, so very, very big news if you are a Cardinals fan. But um, today, we're not going to be talking about the Cardinals. We will be talking about the Broncos game. I, uh, wow. First of all, just wow. Crazy, crazy game. It, it was insane. First thing I want to get into is Trevor Simeon had a very, very good game. Uh, they did come. It he did do worse during the end of it, but throughout the game there was a few bad throws, but some very good throws. And um, by far the best play of the game, before I even talk about any of the plays, will be um, a juke on Joey Bosa. Trevor Simeon juked Joey Be Bosa, so I'll be uh, reacting to that now. Okay, here it is. Just remember, that's Joey Bosa. Simeon juked Joey Bosa. <laughs> it's weird. All right, so yeah, it was it was nasty. Joey Bosa is probably the best, uh, well, definitely the best defensive player, maybe the best player on their team. And Trevor Simeon it juked him to uh, score a touchdown. Pretty amazing. All right, I'm just going to run through the scoring plays. So, um... First of all, I got my phone right here, just so I don't forget anything. Um, it started with a touchdown to Benny Fowler, uh, which is a is a good catch by Benny Fowler, for sure. Then, um, that was the only score in the first quarter, so it was looking pretty good. It was 7-0. Our offense was moving. Sure, um, our, our offensive line, um, it looks better than last year, but not by very much, but I'm okay with that. Um, I, I, as long as we keep improving, I think we, um, I'm, I'm okay with that. Our running backs looking great. Um, CJ Anderson have a good game. Jamal Charles did fumble the ball, but I don't totally blame him for that. It was a forced fumble, mostly a good defensive play. But, um, going into the second quarter, there was an 11-yard pass from Phillip Rivers, uh, for a touchdown to Melvin Gordon. Um, so that way it was 7-7 all tied up at that point. And then um, Trevor Simeon uh, had the one-yard one run. That was the juke on Joey Bosa. Very, very good play there. Best play of the game for sure. And then going to the third quarter, another touchdown by um, Benny Fowler. So Benny Fowler, one of the probably the best wide receiver in this game. Emmanuel Sanders on the first or uh, the scoring drive where Benny Fowler did get his first um, touchdown. He there was a pass to Emmanuel Sanders that was that he should have caught. He made a leaping, like it was a hard catch to make, but he should have caught it. So um, it's all right. I'll give you a pass on this one. But also talking about DT, he had. Um, he had run really, really bad drop, but the very next play, he came back with a, um, a big pass to him from Trevor Simeon, so I guess that's okay. And then, for our tight ends, um, we are looking all, all across the board, looking great with our tight ends. Virgil Green having one big pass to him that uh, could have made the difference in the game. Uh, Hewerman having some great passes, and then A.J. Derby having a couple uh, great plays as well. Um, so that's, I guess I just, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how to make these videos perfect. So um, 
uh, I'm kind of going through that the scoring plays and talking about players, but I'll try to talk about players and then go through the scoring plays uh, for future for the future videos. At the end of the second quarter, uh, we are looking very good. We're in good position, 14 to seven, and then Benny Fowler had his second um, touchdown. And then uh, later in the third quarter, McManus did kick a field goal. Also, McManus uh, missed his missed a field goal in this game that wasn't that hard to make. I think something to do with um, us re-signing him to a three-year deal and having his first game and the same day probably screwed with his head some somehow. So um, I I guess I give him a pass. Um, but I don't. He needs to make those for now on. Um, so yeah. All right. So after the third quarter, we were looking pretty good. It looked like we were gonna win. Uh, it's a very late game, so um, a lot of people went to bed actually, and at least in Colorado. But um, I didn't. I stayed up because I'm a true Broncos fan every day. Um, but what happened is the Chargers actually came back, which. I'm very nervous about this because I feel like this could be a reoccurring thing. If it's not, then this is no big deal because we did come out with the W. But um, I do not want this to happen over and over and over in future games. I can feel like we can get a big league to start and then lose that at the end. I just feel like that might be a reoccurring thing. I really hope it's not, but uh, you never know. So the Chargers did... Well, there was two turnovers. One was an interception, which shouldn't have happened. Um, the, the, yeah, it just really shouldn't have happened. It should have been a pass interference, and it bounced off two people's shoes or cleats or whatever. So I really think it shouldn't have happened, but uh, I'll be reacting to that right now. Okay, here's the um, that play here. Just very, very unlucky. So, um, there was a, after the, I can't remember if it was after the pick or after the fumble. I think it was after the fumble. Uh, Keenan Allen got a five-yard pass from Phillip Rivers to get um, a touchdown. And then a big, big bomb from Phillip Rivers went to Travis Benjamin for another touchdown. So, at that point, it was 21-24. And, um... We couldn't turn the ball over, and we had to punt. And they ca it came down to the last few seconds, the kick to go into overtime. All right, so um, as they kicked, they had an attempt. They kicked the field goal, and before it goes in, and before um, it is counted as a tie to go into overtime, uh, they realized that Vance Joseph did call a timeout, so he totally iced the kicker. And then on the next attempt of the field goal, Shelby Harris saved our butts and jumped up and just tipped that ball. Uh, I'll be showing you that right now. All right, here's the final play of the game. Young Ho Ku trying to kick the um, to tie it to go into overtime. Just, just tipped by Shelby Harris. Amazing. So, um, crazy, crazy game. Uh, it was like 11.30 when I was watching that. I've never been stressed, that stressed in my life at 11.30 p.m. Um, very late game. Interesting. Really crazy, crazy stuff. Um, but we came out with the W. We'll be playing the Cowboys next week. Uh, very, 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 very tough game coming up next week. But if we somehow win that, that would be amazing. Uh, till then, if you guys are wondering, by the way, if, uh, why I have so many subscribers, um, that'll be the first or second link in the description. The first link is my Twitter. Second link. In the description will be a video talking about me reaching 700 subscribers. Um, so if you're wondering why I have so many subscribers, go check out that video. Second link in the description. Uh, Broncos Nation. For as long as we can. Oh man, crazy, crazy game. See you guys in the next one. Bye.